Good morning, folks. We've got powerful geomagnetic storms at the moment, but there is an upside. We're going to go over what happened at Earth's magnetic field as it took a pounding yesterday, and we're also going to see a story about Jupiter that progresses our knowledge of the solar system shift. Let's get right to our star where the story hasn't changed from yesterday. It may be pretty quiet up there, but here at Earth, it is very disturbed. No solar flares or large eruptions. The southern coronal hole continues traversing through, but of course, the big story is here at Earth where the solar wind amplification from CMEs was beyond what experts expected. Yesterday, we told you to watch for geomagnetic storms developing throughout the day, and they sure did. We almost hit KP8, level 4 storm events overnight, nearly reaching severe levels. But it wasn't the severity of the solar wind itself. Any veteran space weather enthusiasts know the equinox periods leave Earth especially vulnerable to solar storms, and that's what allowed the storm conditions to develop to more significant levels than would otherwise be expected, given the level of solar wind enhancement. This is the strongest solar storm in more than five years, but here's the good news. In these equinox storms, while the tilt of Earth relative to the sun leaves the magnetic field more vulnerable, doesn't necessarily translate to the ionosphere, atmosphere, and the ground. If this event was in June, I'd be kind of worried for the infrastructure systems, but not at the equinox, not unless the KP hit 9. We do expect some localized issues in the electrical and communication systems as this storm disruption extends down through the Earth layers, but we won't have to worry about catastrophic levels of impact. Aurora were seen at mid-latitudes, but otherwise, the impacts to systems should not be much more significant than a KP6 event. We will have our eyes open for more disruptions in the solar wind, which could amplify these conditions, and we'll also keep an eye on the sunspots since they have grown quite a bit in size and complexity over the last 24 hours. Top science story is hidden amidst ongoing observational reports of seasonal changes on Jupiter and Uranus. Several of the shifts they are describing are expected, but one of them is not not unless you're an observer. The great red spot on Jupiter has continued shrinking. It is now at its smallest size in observational history, and this has been one of the key atmospheric changes that we've been tracking on Jupiter. Remember, there are similar atmospheric anomalies on nearly all the planets right now as the entire solar system is enduring this change, and apparently it hasn't stopped. We greatly appreciate your support. Again, KP rose to between 7 and 8, but it is mostly due to Equinox vulnerability. We'll of course have our eyes open for more. Check out your links below the video, subscribe, and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.